with another Who Done It on Wildcard Wednesday. Yeah! <laughs> I'm Dan. I'm Mike, and we have an elderly gentleman here that stopped by uh, on his way back from the nursing home. <laughs> Frank, I will say that Who Done It on what? Uh, what is it? Who Done It on, on Wildcard, Wildcard Wednesday? Wednesday. This man thought about it, what, Ooh. 38 seconds right. ago? It's a good job. So why don't you formally introduce yourself for... Uh, I'm a dude that does things in life in general. Uh, <laughs> Joe from uh, the Beer of Petro. Right. Uh, this will be on both of our channels. Yes. But if you see it on our channel, we'll link his stuff down below so you can find him. And I won't link theirs. Totally. Yeah. Never Tip us. No All right. Uh, so let's get into it. So we both got Christmas packages mm -hmm. from uh, or beer mail. From Ridge over at Ridgeopolis, Jordan. Yeah, no. uh, so we came together and we're gonna just do the mystery beer at the same time. We were promised these were the same beers. <laughs> yeah. Now if they are, <laughs> on a scale of this might be one of the, the fun. On the scale of one to believable, it's Ridge. Yeah, yeah. So it's a negative. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Pour it up. Is up. I'm the guest here, so I don't touch anything. Here's what do I Okay. Do. So. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh boy. All right, all right. Very smell it. Right. Whatever it is. It's looking like it's looking like straight something. Now, with Joe being a uh, lord of the mystery, <laughs> yeah, not with group of these <laughs> apparently. Um, <laughs> oh, I am already smelling. Me too. Boy. Yeah, me too. It looks like a ridge beer. It does look right. Like a it's a, yeah, what I mean, I mean by that, ridge is a bit of a hop head, so if you will. Yeah, I would say yours looks. Maybe it's just a glass, but yours looks way more murky than ours. Like put it up here. Yeah. Yeah, yours is a little bit more murky. I might have got some festering some dredges, dredges here. here. Yeah. It looks beautiful. But it's still super hazy and juicy. Looking, I will say like, honey orange, but look at that head. It's super creamy. Look at that head and that lacing. So mine leaving. has actually gone down a bit more than your guys. Oh, oh man, this is. Let me give it a little swirl. Ooh, it's a yeah, it's like I, I'm going in. Yep. Uh, let's get a whiff. There's fruit in there. Is there? I think there's some kind of fruit in there. I think there's a little, little vegetal. It's definitely a super resinous IPA. Yeah, it's that ridge. Uh, Dirty gym locker, as he likes there's to say. There's a weird funk to that. Yeah, there is. I mean, there's something weird in it. That's like, why I think it's a gym locker. That's why I said fruited. It's almost like a, to me, like an acidic kind of like guava ass kind of just kind of a fruit note that's not, to me, just straight from the beer. So like, here's what I find hardest about these kind of reviews. It's normally I like to bring out the beer and let it warm just a little bit. Like, right, right. But, you know, with the mystery, you're like, you don't know what to do. you're gambling, right? <laughs> yeah. what, what I typically do uh, as a seasoned uh, veteran and pro that I am not, what I like to do, though, is I'll take it, I'll take them out of the fridge and don't matter for about a half an hour. Okay. Just, if it's like a straight up lager, it's like, oh, well, but if it's, an, <laughs> here's the problem with mystery beers. If you're taking out an Imperial Stout and you're drinking straight out of the fridge, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. It's right. hard because you it, it just kills all the flavors. Right. Where I don't feel that's as much with like lighter beers or even IPAs. Yeah, but yeah, it's true. about a half an hour. But it's definitely big ABV. I can I can smell. I feel like alcohol. it is. Yeah, I mean, so I'm getting no, nothing's popping. Tonight. I'm getting just like mostly resinous. Like, is it melon? Yeah, I'm in, I'm getting guava, melon, maybe a little bit of passion fruit. The the there's an alcohol vapors that is kind of burning my nose a little bit, or yeah, okay. seeming to. Um, yeah, there's a very huge, like, resinous, herbaceous type of nose to it. Like, it definitely, this smells really fresh. Okay, be, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's it green, Like, yeah. green, fresh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, cool. it's, uh, but it's not like, we getting secret sips over here? Yeah, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> I didn't look in that general <laughs> direction, but he's doing something. Okay. Doing something. Um, do we dive in? Yeah. Uh, All right. Maybe. Cheers, well, hang on. Be what? Before we go into it, I'm going to say I, I don't really love the aroma. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Now let's find out the flavor. That's a weird... Joe. This got some Enigma vibes to it a little bit. Yeah, so... The first thing I would say... <laughs> what are the odds that we were just listen, like, it does, you, you gotta keep it... Hundo. Yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of the first sip. Mm. So... That resinous melony aroma I was getting, I think, is just it's enhanced. I'm getting a lot of like, like grapefruit, like a ruby red grapefruit, but there's like this weird, funky aspect to it. 
Okay. The, bo- it, the body and mouthfeel indicate to me this is triple IPA range or close to it. I would guess like there's 10, a candied aspect. 10, right? 10 and a half. It's real sweet. It's like you said grapefruit for me, real sweet up front. I would say there's lactose in here because there is a pretty big, like, the, almost soft, soft, soft. Like, huh? yeah, it's soft. The mouth feels super soft. The mouth feels fantastic. The body's really big, too. I'd say, like, higher side of medium, lower side of full. That's what I'm yeah. saying. And I'm getting a little bit of alcohol. The, I feel like this is like 10 ish. It's, a, it's a triple. Yeah, it is. It's a triple all day. I'm, I'm definitely getting a little more of that alcohol burn. Yeah. Now that I'm getting into it. I'm starting to get a slight astringent alcohol in the palate, which is really crazy because triples mm-hmm. nowadays, you really don't get them from. from uh, a lot of breweries that we drink. Um, but the flavor, this is what I, with the nose, I said it's not a huge fit. Flavor's just call, kind of falling flat for me. I hope this is like a super fucking hype beer so we can be like, yeah, it's a trash. You know, it's like, oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. Because, like you said, there's grapefruit, but for me, I'm, that honeydew melon, yeah. it has like that fleshy, almost papaya type of thing. It's more like the tropical fruit with a little bit of citrus, but it's kind of boring. For If this is a triple, this is really boring. Yeah. Okay. That's I, what I would say. I, I would, said, okay, but you don't believe me, motherfucker. I don't. I don't. What do I you know? know? I know what believes me. I think That's the best part about it. As a triple, like, if this isn't super fresh, like, I can kind of forgive a little with the the hotness of the, the booze aspect if it's, like, super fresh. Because my triples, I like three-week, three three to four-week range. Sure. When I'm set, when I'm mellow out. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm not necessarily a fan of this. No. It's just it, it there's a really just it's hot. Here's the here it is. It is very hot. It's lean. I'm gonna that burns maybe forearm shiver both of them for saying hot. <laughs> but anyway, um <laughs> it's boozy. Uh anyway, uh I no, I, I agree. I agree with you. Tell me more. Uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> I would say I think I still am holding that and, and I don't think so, but I wouldn't be surprised as the cop out. I feel like there is a fruit edition here. I feel there's some kind of fruit edition. I think it's grapefruit. You think so? I'm getting so, so much grapefruit. Well, like, here's here, here, think in your mind now. And when we un- unveil this and it's you know totally yeah. like a triple IPA with grapefruit, I'll eat my words, or maybe my sock, or maybe my uh shoes that I can bring in. Just not this Either beer. way you look at it, I, it's one of those things where how many triple IPAs have you ever had where they add grapefruit? It's rare. Right. That's the, the thing I'm right, yeah, yeah. It's usually some kind of big tropical fruit or stone fruit, like oh no. peaches and this and that. Now when I say grapefruit though, it's like grapefruit that you add like a little sugar on top. Yeah, well, yeah, like yeah, a ruby red grapefruit cool. with some some sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, there's the there. sweetness there. All right, so do we want to lock something in here? I think so. Ten, ten and a half percent triple IPA. I don't think there's a fruit edition. Okay. I think it's just a a triple IPA with. I'm not gonna name. So I'm not gonna look. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, it's, that. it's 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 tough. They like yeah. name it opposite <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's a very fresh triple ten and a half percent triple IPA. I'm pretty much on board. I was just gonna give it an even ten, but it's probably higher than that just because of that hotness, if Ooh. you will. Ooh. Hot take. Um, but yeah, I think it's fresh. I, I'm getting. I'm still getting that super overripe melon. Yeah. In here, along with a lot of resin. So I'm gonna go ten point seven just to be different. Triple or Imperial IPA, whatever they're going to say. Mm. I don't know if they'll say there's lactose in here. Shout out to Matt over Mass Beer Reviews. There's totally lactose in everything. Um, <laughs> which there is. And a lot of breweries don't say it. I think there's lactose in here. I don't know if they'll say it on the I label. bet it's oats. Do I go with a fruit? You know what? It just hit me. Just because who this is coming from. Let me finish your thought there. Is this a milkshake IPA? I, that was what I was thinking with. But... This is, if, if so, I can't imagine like a 10, 11% milkshake. You, most of them are like the 8 range. If this is 8, this is the most boozy 8% fucking beer I've ever had. <laughs> I, I'm going to say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to say lactose and... I'm just going to say with lactose. No fruit okay. addition. Okay. Although I think there might be. Oh, oh, geez, that's like, no, I, I'm just going to go lactose. <laughs> open right. it Open it up. All right. Open it up. There's a fruit addition. I'll just kick in somebody in the face. Maybe myself. <laughs> do, we, do we want to take a bet on if it's a Dewey or not? I'm thinking Android theory, but I have no fucking Oh, it could be. Is it Dewey? I can't get it. Nope. What is it? Black Flag in, in collaboration with Kushlaw. Yeah, hazy triple IP with concentrated hop oil, 10%. 
There's that, that yeah. burn. 100%. What are the, the, the said hops, does it? Let's see if I can do No, I don't think so. Concentrated hop oil. So is that, I wonder if that's the same thing as like HDHC. These it's nuts, probably one of these. these, these, nuts. these, these nuts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so like fan So Mike pretty much hit the nail on the head. But I mean, I really let, let, let's say at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> hold it up. There it is. <laughs> right back here. You see it over here? No, um, I think this was without question one of the more boozy mm -hmm. triple IPs I've had in a long while. Um, the hot, the concentrated hop oil, me, I think me, I don't know what that's exactly doing other than, you know, probably bringing the fruit, but like they mm -hmm. nailed the mouthfeel. This is like a creamy mouthfeel. Right. Yep. And yep. it was big body. 10% right. makes sense. I went 10.7 just because I don't want to be the it, same. It wasn't point, hiding that big body. I would all. say this drank, it, from what I have had over the last couple of years of triple IPAs, this drank more like 11, 12. Honestly, you, were, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it was big. But 10% hazy triple, yeah. I, and I still think there's lactose in here. For Honestly, I'm still getting the vibes of. Like after I have drank in some whiskey on the rocks, yeah, like it's that, just that alcohol burn. It's just there's a big warming still going there, on. There's a, a, a legit astringency on like the back of the palate. Like it's like a pop of the alcohol right. where you're like you don't usually get that in triple IPs anymore. So I, they did not do a great job hiding the alcohol, and that's why I don't think I like this. I, I mentioned before on my, on my channel, which is going on wrong with yours, but when it comes to Triple IP specifically, I like when they drink more like an eight percent beer. Yeah, yeah. Because it's cool to have the alcohol, but at the same time, I don't want to taste that. I feel like it takes away from hot forward beers. I don't want to taste that. Right. If it's a big imperial stout, give me the alcohol. This not not into it. Yeah. Um, I rating wise, you guys probably forgot to rate probably some of them. Yes, I I would give this a low three seven five only because the body and mouthfeel are fantastic. Flavor wise, this is like a three five at best. So yeah. I'm going three seven. That's what I would give it. Um, I'll go three seven five. I, I wish it had hidden more of the the alcohol and yeah. everything. It's a big deterrent, but also the flavor. Flavor is not my favorite. I'll go. It's like three and a half for me. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. I mean, I I do dabble, if you will. And in quite a few triples. If you yeah. will. If you will. Well, he's only uh, drinking shelfy. Yeah, I'm triples. drinking shelfy other half triples. Yeah. So, uh, congratulations. Mike was closest. He said 10. Hazy tri or triple IP. You yep. said 10 and a half. Yeah. And I said, I said 10.7 with lactose. I think we like we're all in the same ballpark. Yeah, I mean, I mean this was pretty Either way, this was super fun. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's pretty easy. This one was pretty easy just because it was like, as soon as you hit the body and the mouthfeel with that booziness of flavor, you could tell this is a triple. Like, we instantly was like, yeah, this right. is a triple. Like, yeah. There's no, there's no mistake. Uh, Rich. We appreciate yeah, uh, thanks, buddy. This the was mystery super beers. Fun. They're always super fun. Yeah. Even uh, if they are trash. Yeah. No. 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 Seven, uh, seven, seven. Yeah, I, did he review this? Because I don't remember him reviewing this. Probably not. I yeah. I'd be curious to see if yeah. he didn't do it blind, obviously. He did it just regular. I'd be curious well, to see. What a, little, a little behind the scenes. I know when I send out a beer mail, I hold off on posting a review or yeah. on tap check yes. and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just we, until we, we, we forgot to. Lock it in. Oh, yeah. It's in the box. Right, it's in the box. One's in the box. All right. Uh, we're going to get out of here, but down below in our description, all the social media links, all that stuff. Uh, Joe? Yeah, probably yeah. the same. Okay. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, Average Joe, a.k.a. The Beer Patrol, FLX Beer Reviews, Dan and Mike. It's been uh, it's been fun, boys. It's been another one. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Come on, Joe. Uh, cheers. Oh, you so cheers. 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 <laughs>